Hello, my name is Don Forrest, Senior Advisor for New Weiming Law Group. Today, I'm going to provide an easy-to-follow guide for what information is important to support your EB1A or National Interest Waiver Petition. Supporting information for both EB1A and NIW are quite similar, but there are distinctions and differences to point out. First, let's consider what is similar. Much of the most basic information for these petitions is something most, if not all, clients already have. Their biographical or profile information, as we refer to. This includes your CV or resume, including your degrees, experience, academic or other, your field of research, list of publications, conferences, memberships, and other information. Your diploma for your highest level of education, whether MA, MS, or PhD, uh, provided in English and an evaluation if earned in a foreign country. Your Google Scholar profile indicating publications and citations. Verification of employment, if relevant. Second is petition-related information. This is information including evidence we need to prepare your petition including a confirmed list of referees, a short research statement, and your publications. Unlike some other firms, we draft the letters based on your confirmed list of referees and a research statement that you prepare. We do not use templates. These letters are drafted based on your originally provided information. We provide an easy to follow template for the research statement. The number of referees is not important. It's what these confirmed referees can say substantively about your work, based ideally on what they have cited. That is critical. We recommend that all clients seek referees who are independent and may have cited your work in a substantive way. Recognizing this is not always possible, we work with our clients to identify and confirm the most suitable referees to support their case. With this information, we can begin drafting letters. What others in the field have said or cited regarding your work in their published information introduces another important piece of information in all petitions, namely what we call citation highlights. We ask that you review your citations to determine which ones best describe and support your work in a detailed, substantive way. Six to eight of these citation highlights are fine. We will provide a template for this. What are some of the categories of information that can be useful for both EB1A and IW petitions, but especially EB1A? As you may know, reviews of peer manuscripts, along with publications and contributions, is one of the three criteria most clients consider when applying for EB1A. We ask that you provide your record of peer reviews to support the petition. If your citations are relatively low, three to 500 for EB1A, Citation highlights become even more important. Other information that can help with both petitions includes evidence of patents, special professional licenses, as in engineering, medical, or other, awards, and other recognition. Once we have the required information, the process can be very quick. One week to draft the letters and another week to write the petition. And additional time as needed for the client to prepare United States Citizenship and Immigration Service related petition submission forms. We recommend the client start these forms from day one. Once we complete the final review, within a day of client sign off on all supporting information, the petition and supporting forms can be submitted. Clients need to determine their personal circumstances and whether using premium processing in either EB1A or NIW or normal processing for either of these makes sense for them. New Wei Ming Law Group prides itself on its efficiency and considerable experience working with clients from all over the world to support their green card ambitions quickly and successfully. For additional information, go to nwmlaw.com. Thank you very much.